one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Right. Does anyone get a chance to look over the minutes from our last meeting, our budget session? Any questions, corrections? Entertain a motion to approve the submitted. All those in favor? Uh, Board of Works is information only. Um, <coughs> any questions? I probably couldn't answer them anyway. So, no communications, no public hearings, no old business. Heather? Yes. Ready? Yes. I just have a fee waiver request for the Optimus Club's building permit. They're putting in the new sidewalk, which I think it's almost completed now, but they came in and got their permit, so I told them I'd bring the fee waiver form in if you guys approve it. Great. If not, then they can come in and pay for their permit. Okay. Um, any discussion? Uh, this is pretty much a no-brainer. We typically waive them for them anyway. So to waive. No. Nope. Second. All right. Move and seconded to waive the fees. All those in favor? All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Chief. Um, the month of June, auto fire alarms, one in the city, dumpster fire, one in the city, vehicle fires, two in the city, one in Rochester Township. Uh, grass fires, three in Rochester Township, one in Newcastle Township. Mutual aid fires, two in Liberty, two in Avenabi. Accidents, one in the city, three in Rochester Township. Medical assists, 19 in the city, 12 in Rochester Township, one in Richland Township, one in Newcastle Township. We did three service calls for a total of 53 runs and we conducted one drill. Pending your questions, that concludes my report. Any questions? Is that the shortest report you've ever given? Nope. <laughs> Remember, one, two, three. <laughs> okay, Chief Shots is not here, Randy's not here, Wayne's not here, Mark is not here. Who's no here? Okay, um, area plan. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, hold on. Who's hearing a plan? Basically, we just approved the, um, the, the plan for everything so that we can now start going in front of all the boards and everything that needs to be done so that, our, so that we know what all has to be done for whatever you want to do in town. So it's very easy. Because they've been working on it. It looks beautiful, actually. So. <laughs> what is the master plan, right? Is that the right Compre one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's comprehensive plan. Yeah. Comprehensive. That was yeah. what I was looking for. We bring that next year. should have called the area plan. Area plan, right, since it was the area. Right. Any questions? Any questions? Okay. Area okay. Uh, FEDCO did meet. Um, FEDCO's going, working with uh, Kim Pinkerton. Um, consultant to kind of take a magnifying glass of the organization and um, just try and kind of reorganize and, and get his feet back under it. Um, development on Black, Black Eater continues. I think a couple more lots sold, although I'm not sure who the purchaser is. There is a meeting at the high school on Thursday at 10 o'clock for the ready grant uh, in the auditorium. Um, Myself, I think Marty will be there. Several uh, Marvin will be there. Um, Fulton County's been awarded, I think, 1.5 million. Uh, we're trying to come up with a project to keep those dollars here in Fulton County. So um, that's basically all I have. What day does that run? Thursday. Thursday. Uh, Thursday at 10 o'clock in the high school auditorium. <coughs> Yeah, if we don't if we don't come up with a project, it will go somewhere else. Okay. And there are plenty of people waiting to grab that money. So, who was to come up with a a project that we can keep it here in the county? All right. Do they have any ideas? Uh, yeah, there's there's a list. Of, um, I think the sounds like the focus is on housing. Um, I know. Talking to Ted, there's a project in Akron for their sewer that we kind of throw our support behind to help them get that going. Um, 
I can give a little more information on that one. They okay. have a, I, I believe they have a combined system over there, and they have been battling their um, wastewater treatment beds, and uh, they've had a lot of challenges of they're trying to get things separated in proper treatment. Um, it, it's been an uphill battle for several years, so I, I know what kind of struggles they deal with trying to get funding. They, they can't, I mean, it's Akron. They, they can't gain a whole lot more revenue to try to get this, but they're getting hit with state uh, issues from IDM, from DNR, from EPA. <laughs> so, and unfortunately, it's just, it was a system that they inherited from 100 years ago. So if, if there's their project is on the list, I would say it should be seriously considered just from purely sanitary um, protected residents too. What housing issue are you looking at? Just need for housing. Housing is a, yeah. one of the needs of the county. Um, part of the economic plan, you know, you need you need a workforce. The workforce needs housing. You know, it, it's all it's yeah. all tied together. So. Yeah. Chase, Park Board. Uh, yeah, Park Board met um, in regards to the pool. Uh, we've had about 6,000 people uh, since opening day come through the pool. Uh, resulted in about $27,000 in revenue for this year so far. Um, we said that they've had really good daily attendance. Um, looks like typically about 140 at one time. Uh, is their max through the pool um, that gives them about 35 people per lifeguard for them. That's kind of where they feel comfortable. Um, I've heard there have actually been waiting lines to mm -hmm. get into the pool at time. Yep. Uh, yeah, Ethan has stated a few times where there's there's been lines and people really haven't had any issues with that, just waiting their turn. And, uh, so it's been pretty good, really good. Uh, there was a new net for the tennis courts that Fansler put up. Um, Leslie Seal Cody also completed the uh, uh, coding of the tennis courts and the basketball courts. Uh, and then also a new rim for the basketball rim at Fansler, I believe it was. Um, there was a new splash pad control panel that came in that Randy was going to go ahead and put in. Or not. Randy, but. Uh, um, no, not Randy, but. Why am I? Oh. Yeah, I think it Randy, Randy and Dwayne. Dwayne, that's Dwayne is what I was thinking of. Okay. Uh, yeah, Randy and Dwayne. Um, yeah, they're having issues with that control panel, so they went ahead and ordered a new one. We'll get that replaced. I don't want to jinx it, but it's been working pretty well. That was the problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, talk about getting the outdoor shower for the boat ramp. Uh, it's going to be about. $2,300 plus shipping, but I think they're going to go ahead and order that and get that put in uh, at the beach. And yeah, that's it. Are there any questions for Chase? Rochester BZA and Council on Aging. A BZA meets tomorrow night with uh, one item on the agenda, which is uh, a house, a new house uh, at the lake and variance on uh, the side yard setback. So I don't think that'll be a very big deal. Council on Aging met yesterday. Uh, the news out of uh, Transpo about operating about 60% of uh, pre-COVID levels, which may not sound a, like a lot, except the state average is uh, Transpo units are about 40% uh, back to pre-COVID levels. So not sure what the identifier is in Fulton County, but we are uh, a 
had of most transpos uh, around the state of Indiana. So uh, in June of 22, we did uh, 2,097 trips, and that was up from 1,400 trips in uh, 21. So they're continuing to uh, uh, look at everything and, and are doing a pretty good job at Transpo. Uh, our SVP uh, has reported that uh, they've scheduled two trips to Nashville uh, during December. Uh, Nashville, Tennessee for Christmas and uh, Nashville. And uh, those, those trips, they've done one this summer and these trips uh, do sell out pretty quickly. Um, and uh, we are looking at possibly receiving the walk-in cooler from the jail uh, to be moved over to the center, uh, which would help the food bank, it would help the nice. kitchen, might make the food bank uh, able to get some uh, in on some free meat, mm -hmm. things that uh, the center has not been able to do mm -hmm. now. So nice. um, that's just in the works and, and uh, Hopefully that'll get done. So, barring questions, that's my report. Thank you, any questions for Marty? All right, Solid Waste and Animal Adoption Center. And we are meeting tomorrow, so I have no report tonight. Good report. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tree Board and EMS. Tree Board did not meet this month, they did not have a quorum, and EMS did not meet this quarter. All right. Don't disappoint us, John. <laughs> water, water board met. <laughs> Sorry, but they meet, they're very, uh, they're every week or every month. Uh, but I do have a short report because everything's running fine. If it ain't broke, we're fixing it unless it's in, in need of, and everything's going real well. All right. Any questions? All right. Thank you, Andy. Do you have anything? I do not. Uh, Shada. ADA concerns? Actually, I do have okay. one. I received a call. Uh, yeah, hopefully it'll be short. I received a call from a gentleman who lives out in the county, and he drive rides. He was difficult to understand exactly what he was describing, so I'm not sure if it's one of the motorized wheelchairs. But his request was or um, wanted to know who to contact. Is he would like to have a sidewalk? or a walking path or something to get out to Walmart. And I explained to him it's an NDOT. There are, you know, if there's some challenges, we can, all we can do is try to, to get NDOT to do something or to see if they're interested in doing anything. We talked a little bit about, he said, well, even a drive going from McDonald's to Walmart. And I said, that's private property, it's not city. I said, not even that street is city owned. I said, that is all private property. I said, all we could do. I said, I can put it forward to the council as a, you know, a request to see if there's anything we could have a conversation with property owners down there to see if they would be willing to put some kind of a, just a path through the grass to go from the hotel area, I guess, over to Walmart. I said the NDOT one is going to be a bit more challenging, and I guess this is going to fall to potentially you guys that we, I think we need to stop waiving, um, especially we've waived a lot of the requirements for that, and I'm not sure why, again, this goes way beyond prior to all of us happening with that growth out there. But moving forward, we need to really consider when we're putting in developments what we are granting waivers for or um, not uh, to not build sidewalks or pathways and stuff because this is stuff that comes up intermittently that we hear about access especially that south end of town it's a big one um, i did suggest i did tell him that we are looking at extending apache drive that's on our project list with that would come sidewalks and there would i said now it's a roundabout kind of out of the way i said but we we are aware of it very well aware, but we have some challenges out there. I just don't know exactly how to fix it, you know, quickly, feasibly, economically. 
and he thanked me for my time. I, I, I could tell he was an older gentleman, so I, I felt, you know, and he said, you know, I try to do everything on my own, and I can appreciate that. So that was my grievance report to you guys on the one request that I did receive. I'm not sure how to move forward on rectifying anything quickly, and I did my best to explain that to him, that even if we identified it, it's not something we could move quickly on. Some of it is out of the council's hands, and it's out of the city's hands altogether, because of it, it's in that right of way, um, at least two of those areas, Good. or private property. So that's all I have. All right. um, the only other thing is when we met for our budget session, and I apologize, I can't, we, I remember discussing needing to set up a follow-up meeting. So, is everyone still on that we feel that we need to, to meet again to discuss? I know we did not talk about, um, FEDCO as a line item. Um, the other items that we, we fund are pretty much set. The, those amounts haven't changed over the years. Is it my forgetting something? Was there something else we needed to, to meet? I know Shaw was gonna get us the revenues. Um, I meet with the GL DLGF on Monday morning, so I will have a, a good idea where things are sitting with that. I did get an email, and I meant to, I actually I meant to just forward it on to you guys because it's all clickable links for us that's with some of our revenue items. It was um, the requests for the wages. Oh, that's, that's that what was the other thing you guys, yes. yes. It was a request for the, for the PD and, and fire department. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we need to discuss. So that's what we need. So if we could get a time set, and we would need to do that. Yeah, because our budget PDQ, public right? hearing. Yeah, our budget public hearing will be our August regular meeting. So that'll be the public hearing for our budget. So, which I will say, from that perspective, the like I told you guys in the budget meeting, we budgeted high. Mm -hmm. To cover some of those possibilities. So I think even if we have the public hearing and we pass the budget as it stands, I think we're okay that from that perspective, it's uh -huh. just nailing down details right. of things. Um, so our meeting will be on the 23rd, our normal meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, is there any any time that will work that? I mean, we can just zero in on a day to get that, have that conversation so we can get both chiefs an answer? If you stick to past practices and usually the second Tuesday of the month used to be our yeah. designated council meeting. So, we so used to, is everyone okay on the night? That'd be August 9th. Yeah. Five o'clock work? I August. usually I usually work till five thirty. But I can come late. Okay. With that. I kind of yeah. hate to exclude Todd out of it because I think this is a conversation that really needs to have all of you present if possible. So if you want to start, it, if we do at 5.30. I can probably do it by 5.30. Okay. Okay, so 5.30 still work for everyone? Okay, now the other important question about that. Will there be food? <laughs> Killing me, Smalls. <laughs> Well, is this going to be a much longer meeting than the last one? If so, then, you know, I might have yeah. a caterer. Oh, you mean a short meeting where we didn't need any groceries? Yeah, it was supposed uh, to be a short meeting, John. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess, I guess it depends on if we're going to invite Ted or not. <laughs> you tell me, do you want food? If y'all want food, then we'll get food. Yeah. I'll turn it in. Yeah. Pizza or Subway. It shouldn't, take, it shouldn't have to take that one. I think it take us that long. Okay. They should take no, I've got a, I got a head shake. No, I got a yes. I got a, I don't know. No, I don't care. I don't okay. care. We'll make Todd bring the food. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, so budget see. meeting August 9th or additional budget. Yeah. August 9th. 530. 530. Um, no one has anything else. I'll change motion to adjourn. So move. Second. All in favor? Thank you. <laughs>